For example, it would be like, be like, hello, my name is Marie and I'm from the Culture Pro Project. 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 Culture Project. They've been I've done that wrong every time. Um, my routine. I pray mostly, but then I also. I usually go into like um, quiet Peter mode and uh, just like block everyone out. Sometimes I jump in the bathroom. <laughs> this is quiet Peter mode. Okay. So I had actually spent a, n a number of my years at university encountering the Culture Project at various times because some of the missionaries had been there before and they dropped in at various points over the course of my three years. First time I encountered the Culture Project was actually as soon as it started in Australia. So the girl who started the Culture Project in Australia, Frances, she actually invited me to a barbecue about five years ago in 2014 when the, Amer when the, when the Culture Project was brought from America to Australia. And I shut down like a number of um, interactions I had with the Coach Project missionaries were like, oh look, look are, you, are you keen on maybe applying? And I was like, oh look, it's just, it's not for me and I just don't really want it at this stage. I remember encountering the Culture Project then and thinking, wow, like that is an amazing organisation that uh, really responds to the needs of young people today. Even though I thought it was an amazing thing, I just thought, man, like, that, well, but what they're doing is crazy. I sort of just slowly watched the Culture Project grow in Australia. I watched um, I watched it, the mission start to catch on and people to understand like, wow, this, that, this actually um, is, like, it's crazy, but it's actually, it, you know, that there's passionate people behind this who really believe in the mission and are willing to put their lives on the line. And, and that slowly just sort of grew on me and, 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 it, and, it, and seeing the mission uh, grow uh, it, it also, uh, I, I saw areas in my life where actually I needed to hear this, this, this mission and when I finished university and I started working full time, uh, this opportunity just kind of came out of the blue where the, the director, Francis, who had invited me to that barbecue so long ago, called me up and said, we're taking an intake of missionaries this year, would you like to join? And, um, and I just, yeah, I felt a calling to do that, to respond to this need. Um, and yeah, here we are. I spent a week with the Culture Project on the beaches of, of the Gold Coast where we literally just stru like struck up, struck up, struck up conversations with kids on the beach about these fundamental core questions about life. And we'd lead, the, we'd lead with the question, what is love? And, and the conversation would go from there. And it was insane how open these strangers were to not only sharing so much of their struggle and their and their pain, but also just seeing them perk up at the message and the and what we were offering in terms of an alternative when it comes to living chastity and living a life that's that's fully free in in the understanding of who we are and what we're made for was so inspiring and that's what moved me. And during that week, I was like, you know what? Like, what, what was drawing me to the army was was that adventure and that sense of being in a fight and a battle and having having a challenge just beyond my wildest dreams and. That in that week, I realised that, that the Culture Project, for what it's fighting for in our current times and what it's going to require of me as a missionary, it was going to not only be a, the same kind of a challenge as the Army, but even more so, and it did, and it has offered significantly more than, than anything of what I could have ever imagined. And I've received so much from this year, and I'm so glad that I've, that I've chosen and, and, and responded to this call to be a missionary, because it has single-handedly been the most transformative experience of my life. And it was the exact kind of a battle and a challenge that I was looking for. But thankfully, it's just in a context that I, I would want to stay in for life, you know? So it's been, yeah, it's been incredible, and I'm so happy. Yeah, it's been awesome. <laughs> Meeting the American Culture Project has been incredible. To like the American Culture Project is probably like a couple of years ahead. So seeing the potential of what of what could happen in Australia, seeing the community that the Americans have here, yeah, it's 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 really inspiring. And yeah, it's it's, it's we're, we've gotten a lot out of it that we can bring back to Australia. I think mm, for sure. And like just being at St Vincent's in general, and being yeah, as as Peter said, in a community that is that is not only larger but so much. I guess like just further down the line when it comes when with the vision itself ha is just so inspiring and there's so much fun like I've had like literally the best the best two weeks of my life and it's um, 
they're the kind of people that you just you'd want in your back pocket forever you know like you just you, you want them like you'd want them at your wedding you'd want them like <laughs> I don't know when you're pregnant or something like it's literally like they're just the best like and I've yeah. honestly and it's funny like and I think that's what unites it, it makes sense that, that that that's the case because when you have like people rallying around the same cause and the same the same fight you naturally just bond so much quicker and you're and you know that you can just be trusted like you just feel at ease just to be yourself and that's that's probably like literally the only thing that young people or any person ever wants is just to feel like at home just to be who they are and be who they're created to be but also be challenged and pushed further as well so it's it's been awesome i've loved it so so much so if you're interested in any of this strikes a chord with you please follow us on all of our social media platforms visit our website at thecultureproject.com.au visit us on facebook the culture project australia and on our instagram restore au and we can't wait to see you and to be in touch and to bring you into this battle with us